Hi, Dwayne Lesner from the Nutanix technical marketing team. I want to show you four new features in 5.17. So let's take a look at our first feature, which if we go to administration availability zones, we will see only one AZ in 5.17. You can now do DR orchestration, also known as leap between two clusters being managed by the same Prism Central. So this is really good for the robo use case uh, or where you just want to use one Prism Central. But let's take a look at our protection policies and do an update on this one PC protect. What we'll see some changes here on the primary and the recovery location. You now pick the AZ and then you can pick the cluster. You can still pick all of the clusters if you want Nutanix to manage that for you. Uh, but so now here we have going from cluster uh, source to destination under one PC. The second new addition, so DR orchestration now supports near sync. Um, so you have the ability to add a minute schedule for your DR run books. Um, this feature is only supported with two Prism Centrals and not the single PC deployment. And so we'll leave that. Everything is the same as before. Now let's take a look at the recovery plan for our third feature. So if we go into recovery plans, <clears throat> go, we'll hit update here because there's actually two lurking in here. <clears throat> if we look at the power on sequence, so I have my database tier going first, followed by my front end tier. But if I take a look, we have a little gray box, um, which is going to uh, enable a new setting for managing scripts. So now you can have custom guest script execution for your virtual machine. So this is managed at the category layer. You could add individual VMs. We're going to take a little bit more look at that in a second here. We'll see that in action in the demo. And the last feature to showcase is now the ability to manually assign IPs for a virtual machine. So in our production network, we have this Windows client 162, and then when it fails over, we can manually select or edit the IP where we want it to go to 177. Um, so prior to this, we would always just manage the offsets for you. So if you had a SQL server in this at 162 and it was moving into a new subnet, it would also be 162. So you always knew beforehand what it was going to be, but now you, um, can select a different IP beforehand. Uh, and so those are the four features. Now let's take a look at this recovery plan in action because the VMs that are being protected, we have one special VM with a custom script um, already in it. So if we take a look at this virtual machine here, we are already logged in. Look at that, everything's good before the failover. We're in our happy place, unicorns and rainbows. So that's fine. Um, so if we take a look at the, we have a, a custom script. So the directory is program files, Nutanix, production, do, 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 scripts, production. We have a script, just take a look at it. It's going to, change our wallpaper um, and then it restarts the machine so it can be applied. So this is looking good. Now let's run our script. We'll close this out. We'll fail over from one cluster to the next. Do, 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 do. Recovery plans. Let's run this a bad boy or girl. It's 2020 folks, gender neutral failover. We are going to the promised land. Hit failover. Let's take a look at that in action. Some warnings on the validate, but that's perfectly fine. Some licensing in this demo environment. The plan has completely finished. Now let's go take a look at that virtual machine um, and check out its new wallpaper.
booting up one final time. We'll log in and see what we're dealing with. Voila, it worked. We are good to go. Those are some of the new features in 5.17. Go to your portal.newtenants.com and download it today. Thanks.